Good morning. Welcome to WWDC. Let's start with iOS. This year, we looked across the entire iPhone experience to provide delightful new features that make the things you do on iPhone more personal and intuitive. Our next release, iOS 17, delivers more expressive communication, simplified sharing, more intelligent input, and all new experiences for your iPhone. First, we're giving you a brand new way to express yourself with personalized contact posters. You get to customize exactly how you're represented when you give people a call. Contact posters feature beautiful treatments for both photos and memoji, paired with eye-catching typography. And in Chinese and Japanese, the new layout with vertical text looks incredible, where we've added one of our most requested communication features. Now, when you call someone on FaceTime and they aren't available, you'll be able to leave a message. So whether you're just calling to say hey, or want to share a precious moment, you can record a message so that they can enjoy it later. Next, a new catch-up arrow in the top right of your conversation lets you jump to the first message you haven't seen. It's perfect on busy days when the group chat is blowing up. We've also made replying inline faster than ever. Just swipe to reply on any bubble. And for those times when you get an audio message but you aren't able to listen right away, they're now transcribed so you can read them in the moment and listen later. Name Drop. With Name Drop, you can just bring your phones close together. You'll see the same contact poster we talked about for phone calls, and you can easily choose the phone numbers and email addresses you want to share along with it. And share them just like that. And to make exchanging contacts even more convenient, you can use Name Drop with an iPhone and an Apple Watch, too. And we're also using this same gesture to make it easier than ever to airdrop content and even kick off shared experiences. When you want to share the stunning photos you took on your latest adventure, again, just bring your phones close together. It's that simple. And for those times when someone is sending over a ton of photos or a large video file and you need to step away, you can now leave airdrop range and your content will continue to send securely in full quality over the internet. If an autocorrection isn't quite what you wanted, tapping the underlined word shows what you originally typed with the option to quickly revert back to it. And in those moments where you just want to type a ducking word, well, the keyboard will learn it too. We call it standby. Just by turning iPhone on its side while charging, you get a new full screen experience with glanceable information designed to be viewed at a distance. Standby is perfect for your nightstand, kitchen counter, or desk. And with the always on display on iPhone 14 Pro, it's always available. iPadOS powers iPad, our most versatile device, and it enables our users to do so many things and making iPad even more capable, starting with widgets and the lock screen. Let me show you. Widgets were designed to quickly convey information at a glance. Now we've made widgets interactive and I can take action directly in the widget without even opening an app. So I can not only see my reminders, I can also tap one to mark it as complete right here. And as I do, the widget gracefully animates it away. These types of quick interactions are useful in many scenarios. At home, I can control my lights right from the home widget and start playing an album with the music widget. Introducing macOS Sonoma, a big new release that will make your Mac more delightful and even more productive. First, many of the features we talked about earlier on iOS and iPadOS are going to be great on the Mac. And macOS Sonoma brings a rich set of features that elevate the experience of macOS. Before, widgets on Mac were available here in Notification Center. But sometimes you want to see information at a glance while you're using your Mac. Now you can, by simply bringing your widgets right into view here on the desktop. I love to catch a glimpse of my favorite photos throughout the day, and weather too. And I can put these anywhere. 
So let's add shortcuts here to the bottom left. To make sure widgets aren't distracting while you're working with apps, we also came up with a way to make them glanceable without feeling intrusive. If I open up Mail, my widgets instantly fade into the background so I can focus on the task at hand. Adaptive audio. It combines the best of both listening modes into one, making it even easier to move through environments and interactions that are constantly changing. Adaptive audio dynamically blends transparency and active noise cancellation to match the conditions of your surroundings. So you can stay present within your environment while distracting noises are automatically reduced. FaceTime is coming to Apple TV. Now everyone can gather on the couch and catch up with friends and family on the big screen. The new FaceTime app on Apple TV takes advantage of continuity camera to unlock incredible shared experiences at home. So when you launch FaceTime on Apple TV, it wirelessly connects to your iPhone or iPad and lets you use their camera and microphone to join a call. Now from any watch face, you can simply turn the digital crown to reveal widgets in a smart stack. I can start off my day with a glance at the forecast and headlines. And the smart stack uses machine learning to show you relevant information right when you need it. So later in the day, you'll see some upcoming meetings, tasks you need to complete, or medications to log. It's so convenient to check what you have to take care of next. And you can long press to add a widget to the smart stack, like sleep data. And there's even a widget that can hold your favorite complications, like timers. Let's start a timer. Now when I'm back at my watch face, I can simply scroll up and the timer shows up right here. So you can easily see how much time is left or pause it with a tap. Introducing Apple Vision Pro. Vision Pro is a new kind of computer that augments reality by seamlessly blending the real world with the digital world. It's the first Apple product you look through and not at. Vision Pro feels familiar, yet it's entirely new. You can see, hear, and interact with digital content just like it's in your physical space. And you control Vision Pro using the most natural and intuitive tools, your eyes, hands, and voice. With Vision Pro, you're no longer limited by a display. Your surroundings become an infinite canvas. Use your apps anywhere and make them any size you want. Capture photos and videos and relive your most important memories in an entirely new way. Watch your movies, shows, and sports and immerse yourself in games on a giant screen surrounded by spatial audio. And connect with people as if you're sharing the same space. These are just some of the ways that Vision Pro blends digital content into the space around us. So in the same way that Mac introduced us to personal computing and iPhone introduced us to mobile computing, Apple Vision Pro will introduce us to spatial computing. This marks the beginning of a journey that will bring a new dimension to powerful personal technology. Another foundational design goal for Vision Pro was that you're never isolated from the people around you. You can see them and they can see you. Your eyes are a critical indicator of connection and emotion. So Vision Pro displays your eyes when someone is nearby. It's incredible. This breakthrough innovation is called EyeSight. Not only does EyeSight reveal your eyes, it provides important cues to others about what you're focused on. This is how it looks when using apps. And this changes when you're fully immersed in an experience, sending a clear signal to those around you that you can't see them at the moment. But even if you are fully immersed, Apple Vision Pro helps you stay connected to those around you. When someone is nearby, they will appear in your view. And Vision Pro will simultaneously reveal your eyes to them. Apple Vision Pro starts at $34.99. It will be available early next year on Apple.com and at Apple retail stores in the U.S., with more countries coming later next year. The new Air has everything you could want in a 15-inch laptop. 
It starts with a design that's astonishingly thin and light, yet feels incredibly solid and durable. It's only 11.5 millimeters thin, making it the world's thinnest 15-inch laptop. And it's easy to carry around at just over three pounds. It features MagSafe charging, two Thunderbolt ports, and a headphone jack for versatile connectivity. And it comes in four gorgeous finishes, including Midnight and Starlight. First, Mac Studio is getting the immensely capable M2 Max, and it's a performance powerhouse. Developers can build new versions of apps at warp speed with up to 25% faster performance than M1 Max. Motion graphics designers using After Effects can render up to 50% faster than M1 Max. Mac Studio with M2 Max is also four times faster than the most powerful Intel-based iMac. And that's not all. Today, we're adding one final chip to the M2 family, taking Mac performance to new heights. Introducing M2 Ultra. It is a monster of a chip. Connecting two M2 Max die together with our groundbreaking Ultra Fusion architecture, it doubles the performance of M2 Max. The 24-core CPU in M2 Ultra delivers 20% faster performance than M1 Ultra. Introducing Mac Pro with Apple Silicon. It combines our most powerful chip with PCI expansion to tackle the most demanding workflows. First, every Mac Pro comes with the outrageous performance of M2 Ultra. Compared to the fastest Intel-based Mac Pro, many real-world Pro workflows like video transcoding and 3D simulation are three times faster. A key reason is the amount of unified memory in M2 Ultra, which is up to a gigantic 192 gigabytes. Mac Studio with M2 Max still starts at $19.99, an incredible value for Pro users. And with huge performance increases from M2 Ultra, Mac Pro starts at $69.99. You can order both products today, and they'll be available next week. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a great week and a great WWDC.